My name is Alan Maloney. I'm the Director of Procurement Services for the University of California Office of the President. What energizes me most is the people and the ability to work across multiple organizations in a large organization that are all driving the best technology and research and education. We are the system-wide office that helps set procurement process, technology, and resources for our 10 campuses and five medical centers. So being a large organization with over 200,000 employees um, and 223,000 students, we are the ones that help the campuses who are driving and doing the actual purchasing for the end users and provide them the resources, tools, technology, and guidance to be able to do that in a systematic and concise way. We needed to have one partner we worked with. We chose SideQuest to be able to do that because we're using technology base as a way to do the change management and to make our organization change in a way. So that is the platform for which we are all focused on to drive how we will come together. Basically, we've got 10 different financial systems, so how do you normalize that data? If you don't have the data, you can't do good procurement. So if we have the data, then we can look at our e-procurement. Going to the e-procurement platform has allowed us to have visibility and change how each of the campuses are now working together to do RFPs together. The second part of that is visibility into contracts. Historically, we haven't been able to see what the others are doing. So putting in contracts system that is powered by SideQuest will actually get us there as well. So a lot of this all together is visibility and to be able to all work together. A couple of tests early on RFPs that we're going out with have been reverse auctions. And in two cases, we've seen extremely good savings, up to 40% savings using reverse auctions. A couple of the other ones that have been helpful is just the process of getting us to normalize data. So as part of the implementation of Spend Radar, getting everyone to actually know and to be able to talk in the same data fields and to be uncover data that we didn't know was there and them uncovering data that they didn't know existed in their own um, systems to begin with. So over two years, we're looking at a little bit over $11.7 billion in spend that we went through. In doing that, we actually are looking at over 2 million actual purchase orders that are in the system that were viewed and 5.1 million invoices that were put in. So line items, which is even more phenomenal, of data is 11.2 million line items of data were reviewed as part of this whole process. Ultimately, when we get done with this, we have to eke out another $200 million in savings across the supply chain. So all these solutions and the change of how we do things and coming together will help drive the 200.